If you're grinding to achieve your goals, whether it's running a marathon, running your business, or running your life, WIS gets you. WIS is a tax and accounting firm that goes beyond the numbers and we're super pumped to be partnered with them. Looking to level up your business or career? Make it happen with WIS. That's W-I-S-S dot com slash J-W-S. Hey, it's A. Hey, it's V. And this is T with A and B presented by the WNBA. So we won our first game. Get me. Yay. Snaps for <laughs> us. <laughs> was, um, go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, you were out there playing <laughs> from the position of being on the bench. I was stressed. Like I was literally breathing hard. I had to take like, like deep I was so calming nervous. Breaths. I was like so nervous. It's ridiculous. Well, you played great. It didn't look like it. Things, but mm-hmm. I was super nervous. But we got our 50th straight Olympic win, which is like crazy, big time. But like, just the atmosphere was pretty cool. It was awesome, and you were on fire. <laughs> 19 points, 13 rebounds, a double double. Oh my god! <laughs> and your rookie performance as an Olympian—that's amazing. That's what did nice. it feel like to be out there? Oh man, it was great. Like the atmosphere was cool. Like, like I said, I think it was just like a nice moment to finally just get out there and play. You know, we've been here for maybe a years. week. Yeah, <laughs> like years now. And for us to finally like not practice and play against somebody else, mm-hmm. it just felt great. But I don't know. How much have you seen the team gel since we've left Vegas? I think it's so much better. Yeah. Um, you know, it's hard because obviously we're all good players mm-hmm. and to have people come in, especially from you're playing different schemes, like there's 12 different ways that a team plays, you know, right. 12 different ways right. that they play defense, right. you know, all those things. So I think that's why it felt a little bumpy in the beginning. Even though we're all great players, it's hard to build that chemistry, mm-hmm. but I feel like we've done it so fast. Yeah. Um, so I think it's really just nine day from when we first came to Vegas to where we are now. Yeah, I think so. I definitely agree with that one. I mean, we have Japan coming up now. Mm-hmm. Like, I am totally different game. It's a completely Nigeria. different team. Like, I think now as we're starting to like, because we're still in the first rounds of things, but mm-hmm. I think the stakes are getting higher. Because yeah. I mean, now we're in like Japan territory. You know, like yeah. this is their home, and they're playing against the U.S. Mm-hmm. Like, they're we're get, we get everyone's best game, but I think this game is going to be like. Yeah. Unfortunately for Japan, they're not a lot of fans. Right. right. This place would have been upside down if there could be fans in here. So thanks to that. Thank you. (laughs) Protocols to that one (laughs) saved us. It can be even playing field. Seriously. (laughs) So for like, does this feel like a business trip to you or does it feel kind of like a tournament? Like, you know. I don't know. I just feel like we're just like. I don't know like like yes it hasn't settled in kind of yeah like it's still weird like even though we've played our game it still feels like okay we're just playing Mm -hmm. another team like or like a world cup like it doesn't seem like we're at the olympics that's exactly what it feels like yeah it feels like a world World cup Cup. but i don't i don't know obviously we're trying to win goals so yeah we know that it's a bigger game than just a world cup game but but i don't know it's a lot of pressure yeah like I don't even want to talk about it. Like, I don't even like talking about it. When people mm-hmm. are asking like, oh, go over seven. How does it feel? I'm like, I'm not even want to talk about it. I'm not even bringing that energy don't towards Don't even me. need that energy. I'm like, superstitious. Don't even ask me. Yes, you. yes. But I'm just glad that we have some vets that can like help us. You know, it takes a, yeah. pre- it takes a little pressure off of us because it's kind of like, all right, mm-hmm. we're, this is not our first one. Cool. Yes. Uh, but have they know. given you any like specific good advice? Any of the vets? Um. I mean, they just all kind of say the same thing. It's just like, even after we took those losses Mm -hmm. uh, in Vegas, you know, they were kind of like, you know, it happened. Like right now, this is, we're just trying to figure it out. Like we're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Cause we have more than enough talent in Mm -hmm. the locker room to win a game by a good amount. So yeah, I think with Sue and D, they both said this several times, but they're like, not even basketball wise, but just soak it in. Yeah. Because it's the Olympics. And I think that's so true because first of all, they would know it's their fifth one. So (laughs) anything they have to say, I'm listening. Yeah, but it's so true. Even though this isn't obviously like the typical Olympic experience that we wanted, it's still really cool. Yeah, it's still the Olympics. So I so yeah, I don't want to (laughs) like, like I don't know how I don't know how to explain. I don't want to like like wash it away, kind of be like, oh, we're stuck in the hotel. Like yeah, yeah, that part sucks, but it's still so cool. Still here, here. yeah, for sure. But like even when we switch gears and we're saying that we're here, there's a lot of athletes. Like we saw Simone and Naomi is like. It's a lot. Mm-hmm. Like at the end of the day, it's a lot. Like we train a lot. Like, and we don't even have an opportunity to train the way they train for this moment. Like yeah. we have a season to play where our minds are like elsewhere. But for them, like they do so much to get to this moment that 
it weighs on them. Uh, so when I found out about when someone pulled out of, of um, events, I was for it. Like I, I'm 100% backing her up because it's hard, it's tough. And I can only imagine the things that she gets mm -hmm. hit with. Like we yeah. get hit with a lot of things, yes. But when it comes to gymnastics and tennis and everything else where it's really just them, yeah. like, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Me, I couldn't have made it this far, honestly. <laughs> She's the goat at what she does. She's killing it. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, she has the I don't want to say balls, but the, the the courage to be like, hey, this is enough. Yeah. And that's what it takes. I know it's crazy. When I first found out, I mean, I was surprised. Obviously, like it's shocking to see that, yeah. especially someone who, even as athletes, we know what athletes go through. But to see that happen, you're like, dang, that's crazy. Yes. yes. Um, so I know that for her to do that at the Olympics, she must have been under a tremendous amount of pressure. Mm -hmm. So honestly, it's just it's sad, you know. Yeah. Because especially someone like she's so good at what she does, I'm sure the weight of the world's on her shoulders. Yeah, so totally. for her to get to her breaking point, um, I'm really happy that she's taking a step back and she knows she's she knows it's not healthy for her. She's doing what's good for her. So I'm I'm happy for doing yeah. that. And I mean, we also know, like you said, as athletes, we know that it wasn't just like a oh she woke up the day and was like okay I'm done. Like I, it took time mm -hmm. for herself to really grasp of what she wanted to do. So mm -hmm. man, shout out to the shout out to. Simone and Naomi for just like taking it and being like okay yeah. like I think that's what we need to see and we're seeing more athletes do that but it takes a lot so mm -hmm. why do you think them. why do you think it's so hard for like fans to recognize that the mental toll that it takes because they just see us as entertainment mm -hmm. I think they don't see us as human I think so, I, I mean a good bit of fans I don't want to say all fans but a good bit of fans see us as to who we are we're human we go through things yes but it's a lot of people out there I think they just see us as just entertainment and you're just supposed to do this to please me and how dare you do this and I'm like you're talking to someone that is a sister a daughter a mother mm -hmm. like they go through the same thing and I'm pretty sure that same fan that is talking that cash money trash if their sister mother or daughter was going through it they wouldn't want anyone to talk to them that way exactly. and that's where I started snapping off because I'm like how dare you you know like you're never you got to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and think could you work underneath that pressure? Exactly. I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's hard because now is different than it was even, I would say like five to 10 years ago. Like you only saw the product that was put on the court, on the field, wherever it is. Yeah. You didn't see, like we're all over social media now. Mm -hmm. We have things like the Players' Tribune and mm -hmm. things like that, where you get to see behind the lens yeah. and athletes. So I feel like it is better now, but I think some people, like they only see us as entertainers. Like you That's said, true. like they don't, and they think it's the only place that we live at. Right. <laughs> like right. we don't just materialize and right. show up to play a game and then we disappear right. Right. and like our brains turn off. Right. There's like, other things that go into it. it does and not make us. <laughs> especially someone who's Simone's caliber, you're open to the world. Yes. Like you're open to all the criticisms and all of the yes. accolades. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. So yes. it's especially it's not even a team sport. Like exactly. So like yes, you're she taking has her that team. on by yourself. Right. Like you don't that power to it because yeah, that's a lot that that's is a lot, lot. Mm -hmm. young, she, right very young very young but yeah. it's like still like honey mm -hmm. especially four years ago when this first started happening or five years ago now when yeah. she was first in the olympics that's a lot to deal with that's as a, a young lot. woman yes for sure the olympic experience is i don't know i don't i don't know what i thought it was but it's like <laughs> I don't know if it's because it's COVID. It's a hundred percent because it's COVID. We're not allowed to see any other sports. Like that just sucks. Yeah. Because like I remember growing up, I would always want track and gymnastics, gymnastics and like swimming. Yeah. I mean that's pretty much all sports. But still, like those were the things. Like other than basketball. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna watch mm -hmm. it. Like I remember watching Michael Phelps like win by a half hundredth of a second. Yeah. And like that's just like incredible to me. And you say more like mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. So it's like I'm now I'm here, I'm like, okay, where are all these events? And then it's know. like we can't do it. <laughs> we can't even eat with three on three players. Right. We can't even go to the three on three events, let alone right. right. I'm so sad. <laughs> but you know, we're here. I mean, when we were in open ceremony, we were around other athletes, but now we're just like it's just us and the men's team, That's which they're I. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. I mean, okay. yeah. Speaking of the men's team, what's been like a highlight of hanging out with them and being around them and stuff since we've been here? Like, I think the highlight is 
seeing that, seeing them not in their like, materialize on the court like, yeah like, <laughs> seeing them in a real like just a kickback vibe like yeah. just super chill like mm-hmm. having a conversation like nothing to like whatever fans may have in their mind of how they act and who they are mm-hmm. it's like not them so it's pretty yeah. cool to like for us to for all of us to kind of be ourselves mm-hmm. just like chill and I can pick at Dame and his haircut yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> and him going out and getting the bucket in the haircut like mm-hmm. I think that is like it showed it showed people like a little bit of how we were just like really all cool and yeah, I, I enjoy it. What about yeah. you? What's your highlight? Same. It's really cool to just like hang around them and get to know them as people yeah. instead of because we are so different. Like Draymond is an example. Like on the court, <laughs> obviously yeah. he's talking trash all the time, but yeah. he's a super nice guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's cool to like learn their personalities. Out Dre still about. talks his. He shit, still though. talks his, shit, yeah. but it's not yeah. as. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly. As a tea podcaster, it's kind of cool to hear their tea, like because right. <laughs> we know ours in the league, but right. like to hear their little tea. It's like, oh, y'all got like, tea too. So that's what was behind <laughs> that because I only saw what was on Twitter. Yeah, but we could never spill that tea. So sorry, listeners. There, you're just gonna get WNBA. We'll try tea. to bring the mom and see how much. Yeah, tea. see if they'll <laughs> give you some tea. But yeah, that's definitely a, a, a highlight for sure. Yeah. <laughs> But we were talking about three and three earlier, which leads us into the amazing guest we have today. Gold medalist. The gold medalists are in the building. Oh, so cool. <laughs> I'm so excited to have them on. I know. Okay, so before we go to the break, we have to give some props that is presented by the WNBA. Each week, we're giving out shout outs to someone who's been killing it. Sophie, who are you shouting out? This week, I've got to give props to Mama Sill, okay. my Minnesota Lynx teammate she's in her 14th year oh my goodness and she's still balling out it's absolutely unbelievable so props to her yeah yes who are you giving out you know i'm gonna go ahead and give since you gave your teammate i'm gonna give my teammate the sixth one of the year back to back to back to back to back to back to back <laughs> uh I, I love to call her the glue of our team this week i'm shouting out dierica hamby mm-hmm. yes and we also play the Connecticut Sun, August 24th, which is coming up because, you know, we'll be back, yes. back in action. Mm-hmm. So I hope all of you guys will tune in to watch Dierka and the Aces play. Okay, we'll be right back with our guest this week, the history-making, Ooh. gold medal-winning, three-on-three basketball team of Alicia Gray, Kelsey Plum, Stephanie Dolson, and Jesse Young. Ooh. In the wise words of Beyonce, don't try to lessen yourself for the world. Let the world catch up to you. True leaders know that to be successful, you have to set the pace and run your own race, sometimes before an empty stadium. WIST is a modern tax and accounting firm that cheers on the underdog. They're the coach you need by your side to support all your business needs. Whether you're looking to scale your business, sell your business, or you just have questions, WIST is your one-stop financial expert. They're also into tech, entrepreneurship, and well, of course, Beyonce. Expect the unexpected at WIST. That's W-I-S-S dot com slash J-W-S. Welcome back, everyone. B, we have some special, special guests today. So special. We are in the presence of greatness. Like, for real. Like, greatness, greatness. Like, greatness. Gold medalists. Gold oh medalists. There's real gold in this room. Me <laughs> around their necks. Like, this is crazy. So, like... Leash, I'm gonna start with you. Oh my gosh, congratulations. So has it really like set in that you're like a first ever gold medalist? You like oh, you're so come late. Come join the party. Yeah, we have another gold medalist. Tell you're supposed to bring your flowers. Okay, I'm gonna go get my flowers. She wins the gold medal, she thinks she just has to be on time and yes. exact. We got everybody. Uh, well, steps coming down too. But Leash, has it set in that you're like in the history book as the first ever Olympic gold medalist for three x three? Uh I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it feels great. I mean, I slipped on my medal last night. <laughs> I put on the pillow and let it sleep in my bed. Make you sure took it in? Yeah, I took it in. It was warm. Yep. But I mean, it feels great. I mean, the first to do something and make history, I mean, it's pretty cool. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it feels really cool. It was like, I mean, I felt like we went to war. Mm-hmm. Okay, we, like we, we played for five straight days, two yeah. games a day. It's like 90% humidity. Mm-hmm. 
oh my gosh we have scratches and oh yeah bruises and everything but it was well worth it it's brutal has it set in for you jackie? yeah jackie this is a world yeah. for you jackie yeah jackie. Tell, tell the people what you what went on with tell you tell us your story yeah so i was on vacation actually um i got the call like 10 30 p.m on saturday um I didn't know if I was going to be on the team, but we knew there was a chance, so I had to fly out to Vegas the next morning, get tested, start all of that, and then I flew out to Tokyo on Tuesday, so it's been That's crazy. Insane. And now you have a gold medal. Yeah. You were on vacation, and now you have a gold medal. Yeah. How's it feel to be a gold medalist? Yeah. <laughs> My neck hurts, but it's fine. It's yeah, heavy. it's too heavy. It's slept, cold. Yeah, I slept in it. Yeah, um, it's the same. I'm just kidding. She probably actually did. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Right beside right, right, right. Right. I got the medal. Right? They can have the gear. I just want this. They can take everything yeah. else. I love, I love it. it. Amazing. I have to say, you guys have me stressed watching yes. those games. Yes. Like, especially the France game. Oh. Oh. I was so stressed. I don't even know. I was talking to your coach. I'm like, I don't know how you do it because I was in bed and I felt like my blood pressure was like, I had to check my pulse. It's incredible it though. Crazy. Like the, the way that you guys handled every adversity that hit you guys on that court was just amazing. Like I love watching, of course, two of my teammates, best friends, stuff. Like knowing you guys, like it's a crazy to just see y'all perform at a high level in that. So congrats. like I'm just so happy right now. Like, but let's talk about you and this champagne. Uh, <laughs> Honey, like tell us what was going through your head at that moment. I've never seen that KP before, but I love it. Yeah, it's new me. You know? <laughs> uh, no, I uh, I was drinking it. Yeah. And uh, Jenny, the our media uh, woman, was like, "Bring it," and I was like, "Yeah, oh, let's do it." <laughs> so you know, they ask questions, sip, answer. But I think um, we got really bubbly up there. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah you should really you should see her first try. She was yeah. an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to open the bottle, so oh, all, this one tried to chug it, and it just... Yeah. Oh, man. We're working on it. We're working on it. Jeez. We're working on it for the first time. So was time. it like a Chris Bosh, DJ Tucker moment, or you just like... Well, it? we knew we had to wear these the next day, so I was like, do not spill. Oh, yeah, don't get so everything don't get was more crazy. projecting out, not on. Okay. Great. So okay. projectile vomit instead of just like... <laughs> <coming down laughs> it out. Okay, it. that's where we got it. Okay, taking notes here. So like, how different... Because for a lot of people who don't know how different three on three is, than five on five it feels like a totally different sport like can you guys talk about that a little bit how different it is especially coming off the WNBA season and jumping right into this y'all always look at me always want me to answer questions but they don't want to they all just look at me I'm like can you explain the distance I mean yeah I mean uh it's definitely different it's fast uh I was dying in the France game. Like we were just nonstop for the first three mm -hmm. minutes. Um, the fouls are insane. They just kind of beat like street ball. Yeah, everyone yeah. just beats each other up. The music's playing. We have no coach. So yeah. Kelsey will just like call a timeout. I'm calling plays. We all look <laughs> at each other. We're like, what do we run? Like, <laughs> so it's it's a completely different game, but I think it's fun. And the four of us, we I don't know, I think we have fun with it. Yeah, it, like it, it did look like fun. I could never do it, but you guys really made it look like it was a lot of fun. It's easier when we're making two pointers, but yeah, yeah. I, bet. Yeah. <laughs> I, I ain't made only made like two two pointers the whole time. Yeah, well, past the Romania game and one in the Russia game, and then I made no more two pointers. <laughs> <laughs> and we still won. Yeah, we still got gold. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> well, like outside of winning gold, what has been like? the coolest part of being here in, in Tokyo games. We'll go with Jackie because she hasn't been much. <laughs> uh, I think it's just being with the other athletes. Um, mm -hmm. You're really with some big time NBA players and WMA players. So it's just cool to like be in that environment and to just see them every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it's kind of lockdown because for those of you that don't know, we are basically only allowed to see our hotel and the gym. Okay. You guys have an outside arena, so at least you're outside some. <laughs> yeah. only you outside. get fresh air. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're only outside like, walking from our hotel to the bus. That's it. But since you guys won the gold, do you have any pro tips for us? Because right. we're trying to be like you when we grow up. Girl, but next week. Yeah. Next week. Y'all got Diana's. Y'all got Diana's. Help us out a little bit. Yeah. What are you talking about? Right. What are you talking about? Right. 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 That's completely different though. But we got to, hey, we, we got to step it up, B. I know. You should have seen us at practice today. Yeah. 
running everywhere getting ready for this game. Uh-oh. Y'all like fuel uh, us. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're giving you like some positive juju. Thank, yeah. Thank you. We need that running around energy because that's all the three on three is. And that's exactly what our game's about. Right. Is. Exactly right. That. And listeners, our three on three friends are out of here tomorrow. All right, what's the first thing you guys are doing when you get back? Tell us who you yeah. go first. I'll go on vacation. Ooh, okay. I undisclosed off the grid. I'm not <laughs> no. talking to nobody. Sorry, listeners. Wow. Bye. Nobody Bye. wanted to go with you anyway. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, at least I'm going to the crew. <laughs> <laughs> like the real crib, not not Dallas, like the my house. house. <laughs> I feel that. Jackie, you going to finish your vacation? No, I'm going going back home for the school. Okay. But first, I gotta get my hair done. You got to, you gotta do that. Um, I'm gonna go to Shake Shack. Yes. And then I'm gonna go get a tattoo. Yes. And then I'm gonna go, go to the lick of the water. <laughs> <laughs> and then the pool. <laughs> Wait, are you guys a race? Yeah. 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 I don't even know if I want to like shift gears because I love this like conversation. I know. <laughs> All I know is that after we won, I text or Sue texted me, congrats. I said, holy <laughs> you did this five times. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. But it's different. Like, <laughs> it, was, it, was it, was hard. Hard. like it was hard. Even yeah. thinking like opening ceremony, I'm like, oh, y'all do this like every, yeah. every time. Yeah. You know, this is going on. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, it goes to show. The beach, you're the past. I have more respect for them. So I'm like, you did this for 14 more years? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. 14 more. This is different. And you guys road. had two, like, you guys played two games a day. No in hell. Well, they are 10 minutes. Don't. I mean. But still. But still. Mentally, I'll be like, two games Yeah. Like, like, yeah, like, yeah like, man, uh, it's short sprints. Yeah, stop. Short and depending stop. on the team, it's completely different. Yeah. Every yeah. Game. It is hard when the sun like sitting right on the basket. Oh, though, yeah. Right? Tell, them, tell them about our game against France and Romania. Oh, yeah. The, the sun was like right on the go. We were basically using muscle memory to shoot the basket. Because you couldn't see it? Yeah. I mean, and you time, were still a bucket. Right. That's what he's over here. Two pointers. Yeah. 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 There's a picture of her shoot. She made it, and the sun is just like in her eyes, reflecting like, in, her, in her goggles. It's crazy. Those goggles are not made for three on three. That's how you. But that's how you know I'd be getting fouled. I'm True. being hit in the face. I know. Just, I got to hey, we can do it. <laughs> okay, if it works, it works. Let me see. What else? Let's, what are we getting into? Mm. Ooh, are you ready? To, are you guys ready to really, like, transition? And I know you guys are going to get this question a million times. Like, oh, can you transition back to 505? Like, do you think it'll be easy? Or is it going to be something, like, you just don't really think about? It's whatever. Like, are y'all ready to make that restart right away? No. <laughs> my team's already practicing yeah that's crazy so i'm not i'm really looking forward to uh getting back there (laughs) (laughs) i'm really looking forward to the liquor store in the pool yeah yeah that's the real one i mean for me you know i'm just gonna bob it out and you know See where it gets me. See where it gets me. Hopefully, I can adjust that. But we'll see. Hopefully, you remember mm-hmm. how to play fives. Stop it. I mean, just bring that gold medal and, and just say, hey, this is my fifth. This is so my five. Flex on everybody now when you get back. Ooh, yeah. Oh, for sure. How long are you guys wearing these for? What is like the. Are y'all wearing the Did outfit? you put it on yet? Have you put it on? We held it. It's heavy. It... <laughs> I'm sitting over here like. Yeah, I'm not gonna stay on yeah. all. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm wearing mine everywhere. Da 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 da. And when Steph put that thing around my knee, I said, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. <laughs> okay. But well, we can definitely get into the start bench. All right. Cut. Let's get into the games. We have a game called Start Bench Cut. And since you guys, this was your first time being in the Olympics for three on three, the other sports, you're gonna start bench cut skateboarding, surfing, and um, sport climbing. Those are the other three that they're it's the first time in the Olympics. Yeah, so let's go with it. Go ahead, KB. Start bench cut. 
I am for sure cutting. Oh, for sure. The sport climbing. Okay. Because it was at our like complex, mm -hmm. so when we walked out to the game, the wall that they mm -hmm. climb is right there. Mm -hmm. It's it's not this. It's this. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's a no. Okay. That's, that's a no that's for me. Okay. Okay. Uh, bench. Uh, skateboarding. Okay. Mm -hmm. So know. you're starting surfing. That's cool. I think I can believe board, but we got to. Oh, okay. Wait, I have a question. Okay. Um, are we doing this based on what I would be good at, or like Kelsey, or my? Whatever you think. Whatever you want. Answer. Which one ever you like the yeah. most. Okay, so I'll do it that way. Okay. I was gonna say also start surfing just okay. because I love the water, mm -hmm. but I just think it's the most fun sport to watch, mm -hmm. and I respect them. Uh, I'm gonna bench sport climbing because i think that's also really cool but not like cool enough mm -hmm. and then no offense but skateboarding is like i don't understand what i'm looking at yeah mm -hmm. and a lot of times they don't do well and then it's like the one time it's good and it's like okay good enough. Mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. i have a quick yeah. question about surfing like when you add it to the olympics how do you guarantee there's gonna be waves you know what i mean it's, yeah <laughs> like how do you really show a harder wave than me yeah, yeah. Like, you can't either. dictate yeah. the wave wow good point like how do you know there's gonna be waves that day? i mean there's a month so maybe that's why they're like it's yeah <laughs> we'll just hope hey, it's in a like, month it's like three days yeah, yeah. is it like in every country though is it the same because some the olympics are the same that's time, a good right? thought this is how much i think i would cut sport climbing uh, is getting no love. I'm gonna just go with start skateboarding and bench surfing. Okay, okay. Yeah, switch it up. <laughs> All right, Lisa, what you got? I'm couldn't surfing. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't do the water <laughs> at all. Um, I'm couldn't surfing. I'm a bench sport climbing. Okay. Cause that's a little different, and I'ma start skateboarding. Cause that's just something um, simple and efficient. I ain't gotta do nothing extra. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there it is right there. Okay. Um, so now it's we say spill the tea, but like I was telling Fee, like you guys aren't really your super superstars of your team, right? Like we want to be real. So we want to use this opportunity for you guys to like talk your talk, like get out whatever y'all want to get out on the on the tea, spill your tea, rep yourself, hype yourself up. Or y'all can feel tea. What y'all want to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just listening. <laughs> like, you can hide yourself up. Like, spill the tea. What you got? I have tea. I don't even know what this means. What? Like, use this opportunity to, like, <laughs> speak your talk. Like, I am a freaking gold medalist that nobody can tell me. Like, you can really say that. I've never been good at talking shit, so. It's not talking shit, but just, like, hyping yourself up. Y'all want to hype yeah. yourself up? Like, feel yourself? I mean, <laughs> no, I don't usually do that. That's what I'm saying. It gives you the gives opportunity you to do it now. Like, you can either do that or you can tell us a little tidbit. Yeah, y'all either hack yourself or with the tea. We want tea. But y'all don't have nothing? Oh, I would like to say from now on, I would like to be addressed as gold medal leash. Mm. Okay, <laughs> there it is. Gold medal leash. Excuse okay. us. I it, changed my Twitter Instagram. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you really? Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> I did. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Alicia Grace, gold medal leash. My ad is still the same, but like the name is right. gold medal leash. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, any, anything else? You don't have nothing? That's great. Nothing that, like, Bill, I told you so. Like, none of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nothing? 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 Jack? Yeah, I'm not trying to get in trouble. This is, this is a safe space. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell anyone. anyone. <laughs> we won't tell anybody. No one's listening. Like, like, you're good. All these dumb millions and thousands of uh, <laughs> listeners y'all got, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all promise not to tell anyone. So, anyway, it stays in between this room, you know. <laughs> but no, uh, we, we want to thank you guys so much. Yeah, honestly. thanks for coming on. Yeah, that's oh, it. Good luck. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Congratulations once again. We have some gold medalists on this podcast. So, thank you all so much for listening. Don't forget to follow us on the Apple Podcast, subscribe on Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Our show is produced by Just Women Sports. For more great sports content, go to justwomensports.com. 
Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter and YouTube channel and follow along on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'm Nafisa. And I'm Asia. And you're listening to Tea with a and presented by the WNBA. Sometimes to succeed, you can't do it alone. You need a team that understands your business on a personal level. WIS takes progressive approach to help you win. Think. Less calculators, more conversations. WIS is a proud supporter of this podcast and the JWS community. To discover how WIS is more than just an accounting firm, visit WIS. That's W-I-S-S dot com slash J-W-S.